you're gonna hear some wind and it's on purpose i'm outside in the woods today and when you look up in the trees you can see them swaying and you can really hear the wind blowing at times amazingly in the bible we don't ever really think of this but the bible always says the holy spirit comes down from heaven from above and if you look at the wind you can see it when that wind is blowing and some of these trees are really moving right now uh what makes it possible the trees to move is the wind blowing it's like not rocket scientist all kids know this leaves blow in the wind but did you know that every single time it talks about the Holy Spirit moving, it's coming from above, not below. There's what's called uh, wisdom from above and the Holy Spirit comes from above. Interesting. Now, I'm going to read you a scripture and we're going to look at this all week. James chapter 3, verse 17. But the from above wisdom, this is right out of the Greek. First, indeed, pure is, then peaceable, gentle, reasonable, full of mercy and of fruits good impartial and sincere if you look at all the fighting going on in the world right now even christians kind of going at it over stuff that doesn't really matter obviously we everybody's like well i know something from the lord but the wisdom from above is first of all and then it gives you this defined list that is not how the world looks right now that is not how people are behaving right now that is not the attitude that people are directing at each other say what you want wisdom from above is all these things now interesting the holy spirit came always from above came on jesus in the form of a dove came down from above now please don't get air sick but you can see the wind blowing the trees a little i mean these things are blowing around. Now, this isn't wisdom from above, but it's a sign that it is from above. And so you can be certain when it's windy and the trees are blowing, you say, is it windy outside? What do you do? Look out the window. Oh yeah, the trees are blowing. It's very windy out or it's not windy out. You can tell where when it is by what's going on in the trees. So you can tell in your life if it's wisdom from above. Now, Jesus had a dove come down. So the Holy Spirit always comes from above, never below. Jesus had the dove come down from above. And uh, you also see that when the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost is poured out, uh, when a sound out of heaven came down from above. Amazing. It's, it's so interesting. Wisdom as well also comes from above. But there's also wisdom from below. You want none of that. Remember, it's pure, peaceable, gentle, reasonable, full of mercy, and of fruits good, impartial, and sincere. Now, there is also wisdom that is earthly. It is not heaven sent. It's uh, earthly. What does it say? The wisdom from above coming down. There is one that is not the wisdom from above coming down, but is earthly, unspiritual, demonic. That is not good. Now, you want to look for the signs of the wisdom from above, especially if you want to be part of something that God is giving you. You can see out of the way you, this kind of produces these characteristics, whether what you're hearing is from God or not. It's the Lord's wisdom or it's yours. Now, I don't want to get in today to all the negative, but I just want to highlight a couple of things about the positive. Jesus, when he taught us to pray, said, Our Father who art in heaven, everybody knows this prayer. What? Notice what it says. Thy kingdom come on earth as it is from heaven. So God wants his uh, kingdom that's in heaven to come down, his ideas to come down, his thoughts to come down. And he and Jesus said, you really need to pray this. So when you're listening to the Lord and you say, how do I make it today? How do I do things today? We're going to look at this all week. You use wisdom from above and the marks of it are all those things. God will get you there. The Holy Spirit, this is, I, this is really important to catch at the beginning though. The Holy Spirit in every single place in the bible says the holy spirit comes down from above every single biblical reference he never comes from below he always comes from above and when you're going to take a stand on something make sure it's sent from above because the wisdom and the person that comes from above uh he lacks nothing for your life and as we close today just remember ask the lord if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives generously without finding fault. So it's better, you know, some people are like, well, I don't want to be a burden in life. You're never a burden. Ask the Lord and the Lord will send it down. Okay. And all of us need to be filled with as much wisdom as we can from the Lord. 
on a windy day, a stormy day, a cloudy day, whatever. God's got your back in Jesus' name. Amen.